from the Philippines. Welcome to the 382nd episode of Ganchillera, a show and tell of cliche and craft related items. So today is August 5, 2022. It's a Friday. Uh, actually, it's gonna be night soon. It's a little bit dim outside and it is raining. It is raining throughout the day. So that is our weather here. So today guys, I want to share with you the projects that I have been making lately throughout this week. Uh, I have joined this uh, Como Creators Academy in Como where we're going to be having classes and we're going to be answering some modules to for us to improve our live streaming in Como. So my first uh, class is going to be held at uh, August 16. So I'm gonna be having that in a Zoom type of meeting. So because I am preparing for that, I have seen my other uh, friends have this uh, sign at their back like the one that I have there that is in Ganchillera form. Although that one you can't really uh, read it because it is in the other way. So I wanted to join in with them and make some type of background with my username in Kumu. So I decided to work on them the other day and this is what I made. But as you can see when you read it from the video, it is the other way around. So I really needed to make one that is uh, mirrored in a way and uh, in a different type of way from this one. So these are the ones that I made the other day during my live stream. Just some lettering. I was able to use this uh, cardboard or this paper here. It's supposed to be the one I asked uh, Nicole to make a uh, calling card for me. I have this other one here using the colored paper that she gifted me. But just like in Pumu here, it is also the other way around, so you can't really uh, read it. So I decided a while ago to make one that is mirrored. So now it looks like this. I made it bigger so that I can use it as a background and it will be very readable. So that is how it looks like. Another one that I made is also the other way around but i think i'm gonna make uh, one or two more of this that are mirrored so that i can use it during my live streaming in Pomo. my other friends really have some very nice background with their names and some uh, crocheted items as their background so i really wanted to join in with them the other day i attended the welcome party for the kca batch 10 they are having some games there and there's this one time that I was able to go up but then my background didn't pass so I didn't win. Uh, I was supposed to win 2,500 coins in Kumu that I can use for gifting but I didn't win. I remember that I should have joined the other one with uh, the V8 or the microphone we're going to show it to them so that you will win the prize. So aside from making the lettering for my background, I'm also in the process of uh, organizing my room for when I'm going to have background. So on that place, I was able to change the wallpaper. That is like this one. I have some leftovers of this one that I was able to put here. So if ever I get to live stream, where I'm going to use the V8, I'm going to be setting up. I'm just going to uh, pull this desk here so that I can go the other way where I am not uh, against the light. I also have seen some of these coloring books here that I colored from before. This is Rapunzel. This is, I guess, um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I think I can use them for background. I remade some of my books and I have seen those. So I think I'm gonna use them as background. I think I have 
uh, followed them 2019 like I have a date here so now I'm gonna show you guys the bucket hats the character bucket hats that I have a made order for and you may have seen this already I just want to show you once again these are some made order from my sis on Tunet sis Leia I think had this order ever since if, if not March, April so it has been a while that I've been making this so these are some bucket hats that are character inspired and if you can guess this one it's a very new and very in character right now which is Peppa Pig so whenever I put it in a flat type of way, you can really see the facial expressions, but it extends when you wear it, so it goes like this. So I was quite apprehensive in making it at first, but then I go with it since I asked my co-members if it will do, or if it is okay, so they said that it was, so I go with it, or I went with it, I don't know what that, right? Thing to say and there's this other one that i have shown you already from before this is a mini mouse type of hat with a very large bow on it this one i really like how it came out it's really cute to me and i'm hoping that it will fit a i think it's an eight year old or a nine year old girl that would wear this this is Altam's a daughter named Ivy. That is the second one. So the next three hats that I'm gonna show you are the ones that I have worked on these past uh, three these past days and I'm focusing on working on them and finishing them. So the first one is this mini mouse inspired hat here, which I wanted to put a feature of mini mouse on with the eyes and the ears, the bow and the snout part. So this is also a bucket hat, only I changed it a bit and I put uh, the eyes on it and the bow with the nose so that it will have that effect. Uh, both of the ear flaps has some uh, felt cloth inside of it so that it will stick out. And this is also a bucket hat that is supposed to be for a little girl. So that's how it looked like. Uh, the features tend to be in a slanting way because that is how it works when you wear the hat. So the next one that I made is a Sonic the Hedgehog inspired one. So you need to pull it on the back side so that the flaps for this brim will go like that. This is how it looks like once worn. Just a while ago, I was able to sew in this spikes here I sewn it uh, for the first time way up but when I saw the picture it's supposed to be like this in this type of way so I worked with it and also the pictures tend to be slanted once you wear it but when it is in a flat type of way it looks like this I think I'm supposed to put another one in this part here and the eyes are in a felt cloth type of way so the last one that i worked on is the poppy inspired one so this is how it looks like it's supposed to be a bucket hat i was trying to imitate uh, the pictures from the picture um, closely as i can but it tends to be in a different type of way so since the one from the picture is a beanie and this is a bucket hat uh, it tends to be much more different I was able to work on the eyes first putting in the pieces and the nose and I was able to put in this part here this green part after putting that, I worked on the hair and her hair is supposed to be sticking up like that. So I don't know 
what to do for that to happen. Maybe I can start shit so that it will stick out. But I'm gonna ask the owner first. After working on this part, I worked on the ears and the flowers. And then I just decided a while ago to put on the smiley on it. So when you wear it, looks like this. From the mirror, it doesn't really look like the picture, like from the picture. But when I look at it closely, it works out for me better. And from this uh, camera, I think the facial expression is better uh, compared to when I, I'm looking at it in the mirror. So those are the three hats that I want to share with you guys. And you may be hearing the rain falling. That is... We have a heavy rain right now. And those are the hats. And I think I'm gonna take a picture later so that I can have a slideshow of all of it. The owner said that it is in time since Phoebe, the girl who will wear it, is gonna be going to school soon. And I'm hoping that she will enjoy wear that, wearing all of that hat. Also, since I am in the mood to finish the hats, or the beanies, or the bucket hats, I decided to put on the smiley for the three minion hats that I worked on in the past. That now, I will be able to list on my shop. So, I have three of them. I'm gonna show you the other hats that I worked on. So this one has to be listed. And also this one. I think I was able to list this one here. It's just the other one in the mustard color that I wasn't able to list. Then I still have this one here, which I'm gonna turn into a pepper pig one. This one into a spongebob one. And this one is what is supposed to be the poppy inspired one. But it is in a incorrect color. It's supposed to be pink, light pink and not dark pink. So I'm gonna be planning something else for this one. So those are the hats that I wanted to share with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all of them. I'm quite happy that I am able to go to the finishing mode right now for them. And then I have some side projects on the go. I am working on it and I started this one for the toothless one that is requested by my cousin that's supposed to be as big as Elmo the other one that she had me make for her son so I started another one which is supposed to be a stitch inspired one which is gonna be the red stitch and I have stitch here and someone has already claimed this one and it is going to go along with the red one. So I was um, experimenting with it a bit more. And I'm thinking uh, that this one turned out bigger than this one since I use another type of yarn for this and also another hook size. So what I did was I decreased it a bit. So instead of 18 increases, I think this only has 15 increases to it. And I am on that part when I'm going to incorporate another color. So I think I needed to buy the appropriate color for the bottom part of this stitch. So those are the whips that I have. And aside from those ones, here in this bag here, that's where I put my knitting type of projects because my needle fits right in here so this is how long i have made the drawer runner so far using the baby soft yarn that initially gifted me and i'm enjoying working on it on the side because it is some type of mindless project for me 
and I have found the stoppers that is very useful for this one so that I won't drop the stitches so it's gonna be longer and I think I'm gonna be using the three yarns for this project here so those are most of the projects that I want to show you guys this week my podcast had been slipping <laughs> started sleeping from Saturday then it becomes Monday and now it's becoming every Friday so I hope you guys don't mind but I still have my regular podcast going on so I have this one project that I wanted to make which is an embroidery and I have as you can see drawn some parts of it I have been seeing some needlework from uh, Anna Green Gables or Amidon E so I wanted to imitate it a bit but I don't know if I can but I'm going to um, try out embroidering that one I also want to take the chance to ask you guys to please consider being a member of my channel it will deeply help me with my counseling and some proceeds I will donate to my local church so please do check my membership so for any outside clips that I have taken, I always put it on the end bit of the video. So I'm gonna let you guys go now. I hope you have a fun, fun time crafting, some relaxing time after work, and some family bonding time of some sort. So that's it from me. God bless everyone. Hello guys. To the synthetic creation of school. Ito sa tayo man. Hindi na ko lang kung meron pa. Dito dati yung... Dito dati yung jewelry making. Yung shop. Hotel and restaurant. Kasi na... Dito ko na yung klase dati na... Hotel and restaurant, throw pillow, tsaka beads, assembly. Dito guys, yung cooking and baking. Hindi na ako nakapag-cooking and baking dati. Pero gusto ko din sana magkawa ng mga tinapay, yun ang cooking siya. Ibang room sa lalang nag-aaral. Ano pa rin pala hanggang ngayon mga classes dito? Ito yung building mo. Okay. having our flu vaccine here at the hospital. Do you know what the vendor is in the morning? Yes, I'm going to go.